Khabib was the guy everyone used to say, like Kovalev, watch it, like Kovalev's such a bad dude, but wait till better Khabib gets here. He was the really celebrated guy as an amateur, and um, he doesn't get enough credit for his ring IQ. Just because he's coming forward and, and, and he's the power puncher, he doesn't get credit for the ring IQ. The fact is, he knows distance. He knows how to take the steam off the other guy's shots by staying out of the distance, by punching when the other guy doesn't want to punch, by waiting till the end of the combination to come in. Um, people say like ring generalship and, and body language and stuff, but that's really what they're talking about. Fighters who he's not nearly as accomplished as, like great pressure fighters, Rocky Marciano, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., of course, knew how to do that. Right, so there it's all. Oh, he was just an animal. He'd break you down, but it requires a certain kind of ring IQ that better BF has. And then, of course, he's the type of guy who, like the other guy, clinches, but it feels like that guy comes out bruised. You know, he's just rugged, and 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 was the better fighter tonight. Clearly, I, I thought Vojtek was winning some of those early rounds, but you could see what was happening. The avalanche was coming, and then went, and then it came. Bojic quit. Bojic quit in the corner. Okay. He quit in the corner. He, and that's why Teddy Atlas is like, oh, because Bojic, I suspected, I didn't have him up, I had him down three points. But after six rounds, I had him even, after four rounds, I think I had him up three one. And then, and I don't think he gave him another round, but I could see where a judge might, because he was landing some shots. He, yeah, and, and so, Sometimes, and Teddy talks about this, and Costamata stuff, but guys don't know how close they are to victory, right? I think of like Victor Ortiz, Marcos Maidana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were hurt, so was he. Maybe if you knew, and I think that's what Teddy was trying to impress on Vojtek was, I know it feels like victory is a long way off, but you may be closer than you think. Keep, keep fighting, and, and Vojtek was done. He didn't want it. What, what would you like for Federico to fight next, now that he has the IBF with the UCK? I would love to see him in with Bivol, because I think that Kovalev and, and Vojtek can get can fight at a certain level, but when you see like the organization of their skills, Bivol is a more organized fighter. And guys like that have more resources to go to when the going gets tough. So there's something about Bivol that tells me he's not a front runner. And his boxing style is, you know, that's the classic pressure fighter versus boxer. Bivol is really a smaller guy, he's really a 168 pounder type. And and I think that's the best matchup in terms of like going in, who do you pick in that fight? To me, that's the best matchup at 175. Although, let's see how Canelo looks against Copa. I want to ask you about Tyson Fury and WWE. They're saying that there might be a possibility of delaying the fight with Wilder in February. Do you think that's a smart idea for um, investors? First, watch this. See, okay. you didn't know. He, he, now, I'm going <laughs> to. What's wrong? Yeah. We do a segment on Max on Boxing called the press conference because this happens a lot after fights and I like to put this on TV sometimes but of course now that you're all here our camera guys are here so we'll do it next time. Mike, see, see what's going on here. Can you see your thoughts on Pat Dick? <laughs> Think about, Kriegel did a piece on Pat Day and then had to update it after the fight. His, his father's a doctor. His mother was so scared about him boxing, she had to be convinced by his trainer, eventual trainer, to let him box. 